Hi class. Okay. <clears throat> Here we are taking uh, another try at an art class with Miss Kramer. We're today painting a landscape that is a sunset um, featuring warm colors as in this composition uh, with uh, pinks and reds and oranges, yellows and cool colors as in the watery reflection sunset and a beautiful tree that features symmetry which is wonderful because it, we're gonna um, use this horizon line and we will reflect across uh, that horizon line so we are up for a treat i hope you love this painting um i designed this painting inspired by David Najjar. I found out about this artist in um, at Carnival Cruise at a vacation and I love this painting and I got really inspired by creating something for our art class and let students try learning how to paint this beautiful reflection and here we are today we're gonna try it out. The materials that we're using are gonna be some uh, watercolor paints. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, oil chalk, oil pastel. We are using dotting tools and sponge and a fabric paint. Let's get started. First thing that we wanna do is get a watercolor paper or hard paper and we're gonna fold it in half. It's, the size is about 9 by 11, so regular letter size. And we are going to go ahead and fold it in half. And that's going to be our line of symmetry. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to paint only above that line. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-sketch uh, tree. It can be a little wiggly and just think about how the branches are going and don't squeeze too much out of this too because it's going to be a blob too much too thick. Okay a couple of branches here and there. On the bottom we can do a few dots for some brushery and shrubs here and when you're happy with your tree and we're only going to do the branches we are gonna fold it over okay fold it over and push down a little bit and reveal your symmetrical reflective tree. Isn't that nice already? Isn't that nice? So now we're gonna use our brush with just a little bit of moisture. So if you have a wet sponge on your table, dip your brush into your uh, wet sponge. And we're gonna um, soften these edges while it's wet. So we're gonna take the brush and kind of do swirls. I'm just doing swirls, okay? And uh, I'm swirling that paint away, just kind of giving the feeling of some leaves going on. And I'm just doing really nice concentric circles going around and around. Should be really fun. This lesson is uh, really good for grades three through five. And I think you guys are gonna do amazing with this lesson. For the shrubbery down here, we are, I'm doing just lines going upwards, making it look like there is long weeds and grasses of all sorts. The same for the reflection in the water. And in the water, the shrubbery is gonna go horizontally a little bit. Why? Because the water is moving horizontally as well. You still can do a few circles here and there, but the water is mainly going to move the reflection a little bit. Um, 
like a horizontal reflection. So add a little water if you like. And your sponge probably looks like something like that. So you have a wet sponge already um, on your plate. And so you can dip your wet, wet sponge like so and then blend this trick color all these colors out think about how the water is moving here so it's going horizontally and that's the first step before we start adding colors awesome right okay there's some still, when you see some brown paint, you can use it to spread it down here because we don't want to have too much brown paint on the paper, on the canvas or on the paper, watercolor paper for the next step. We want it to be nice and already blended in. So we don't want to have like a puddle, like a big brown puddle, because that's going to spread differently with the next activity. So for the next activity, what we're gonna do, my sponge fall down, let me touch it. Okay, so for the next activity, you have a small sponge and you're gonna dab on your plate. You're going to dab some color in. Okay. Some warm colors in. Yellows and I'm just doing some sunset here. Dabbing and sponging a little bit. So we're going to add some yellows and we're going to add some oranges. So just dip into your watercolor cake for orange. Swirl a little bit for your sponge. The sponge should never be too soaky or too wet. It should be just barely take um, barely humid to load up that watercolor cake properly. Okay. So we're gonna sponge it in. It's already looking like leaf leafery and it's already making it, giving it a beautiful volume. And we have all these beautiful warm colors. You can go now into some of the pinks on top. See how I'm swirling the paint, paint, loading it on my sponge, and then just doing some edges, kind of just the edge of the orange and yellow now for the darker tones. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to come back with a sponge uh, with oil pastel as well as a detail brush to uh, fix some of the details okay so now turn your sponge over and load up some darker tones also uh, blues little uh, blue colors for the cool cool tones watercolor you can start with some light blue or blue. Okay. And water flows horizontally, so what I'm doing, um, as you can see, is I am brushing using horizontal strokes now. So that it looks like the water is moving underneath the sunset and it's going across that tree reflection. So we have a beautiful reflection in the water. Okay, so 
So we're not dabbing. This time we're not dabbing. You can add some darker tones. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Of that blue. And I'm just using the very edge. This right here. Uh, right there. That edge. Just that edge. And I'm touching it to create a line. So I'm going, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm touching it with right just the tip, just that tip right there. And just very little of the darker color. And if you have white, you're going to do the same. I'm going to load up a little bit of white. Don't worry if it gets a little bluish coloring to it. That hand of bluish color, that's fine. So load up your white just to blend it in. Light blue. Okay. Okay. And again, we're gonna do some details with the line brush, so don't worry. Now it's nicely blended. So one part of the technique also is using the nice dotting tool. You should have one of these on your desk, possibly two, or you might have cotton swabs available. So we're going to go and dip into our form colors and get a little bit of texture using either the cotton swab or this tool. And uh, this one is already loaded with some orange, so I'll use that. Dip into your red sponge, make it red, go into your orange, load it up nicely, and dab away. On top, this is not too visible here on this end. Um, let's try a different color, maybe darker red, or even this burgundy purple, red violet. I'm gonna load it up. I guess the orange was too light. Okay, we can definitely see that. So we're gonna go do a little bit, add a little detail, okay, like so. And as you notice, what I'm doing is I'm doing under the big branches and over a little bit, kind of creating like a little bit of volume and texture okay and just dabbing you can do it with me try it out try what works for you and what look you like you can swirl just ever so slightly like i'm doing keep your little cotton swap nice and moist Add some texture to the painting that makes it look like it has beautiful leaves. Okay, and when you're happy with that, we can switch to the other side of your um, cotton swab and go make some dark blue details for the leaves. And again, it's a little bit of dabbing. Adding some interest to it. Some texture, making it look like there's beautiful leaves up there. It's 
It's already looking really pretty. And we're now at 15 minutes, and I'd like it to be 20 to 25 minute lesson. Um, so we have time to pack up and clean up hands. Um, you're gonna get a paper towel, and you're gonna clean your hands and take, wipe the table clean when we're ready to pack up. So the last thing now, what we're gonna do is grab our detail brush. You should have two brushes maybe on your table, hopefully, right? Uh, one is thicker and one should be thinner. Um, okay, yours might look differently, but similar. And then we'll load it up into the white cake, white watercolor for the details. Okay. And what we're going to do is pour the water. We're going to go blend in some details going horizontal again, just like water, the way it's flowing over the leaves. We just painted, so we're kind of blending them in. Okay. That looks really good. See, nice and horizontally because the it's gonna give us that feeling that the water is beautifully reflecting and flowing over the tree. And then on top, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some touches of light as if light, light was ever so slightly shining through the leaves and all kinds of reflections were happening up here. And do you see what I'm doing now? I'm doing kind of like smiley faces on the bottom of each leaf that I already painted, going over them and just giving it more um, texture. And as you can see, volume, making it a little thicker and adding a little more 3D look to it. Sort of modeling these leaves making them stand out, modeling the tree. So little smiley faces everywhere, little smiley faces. As you can see, I'll go slower so you can see it. Okay, little dashes, smiley faces over the stuff on leaves I already painted. And a little bit over the bark of the tree, you can use that cross hatching for that, you can also switch your brush to the thinner one, thinner, so you can make a nice, really pretty thin line with the detail brush. What is cross hatching? Cross hatching is going down a couple of times, making thin lines, and then over them one more time, crisscrossing, like a little crisscross, and giving it texture like if it's a bark of a tree over that here and there it doesn't have to be everywhere okay um with the thin line go ahead and do a few little more lines with that nice little detail brush you see how pretty it looks like when you go over with a new layer of that white and all I am doing right now is adding more white lines, more reflections and a little bit on the grass and shrubs under the tree in white. So, and we can add a little bit of yellow too. Now adding a little bit of that sunlight and that sun color also to the bottom as if some of the sunset colors are reflecting on the water too. Okay, 
And we can also, if you have an oil pastel on your table, if you got one, we can also paint in a little bit more yellow using the oil pastel for the sun in the background. If you wanted to, you can touch it up with water pastel, with the oil pastel over the paint as well on the bottom. Um, if not, if you skip this step in class, go ahead and add some wet into the sun, some sun rays, and we are at 20 minutes. So at this point, I'm going to let you finish all the pretty details the way, just the way you like. You're not going to forget to sign in your paper with the name of the teacher on the back, homeroom teacher, as well as your table number, day of the week, and such as Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when you have your art class, your table number, and your name, okay? And hopefully you got something that looks beautiful and you are happy with it. And I'll see you in class, and I'll walk around and go help you. Okay. See you next class. Hopefully you liked the video.